moving cold front drop into the state Sunday night and Monday, bringing a quick shot of winter weather to the northern and central mountains and the front range, as well as the I-25 corridor toward Pueblo. What started as rain began to mix with return to snow early Monday. Though many schools are not in session Monday, a few that were supposed to be open will be on a delay today. Check this page for the latest weather-related delays and slash or closures. The snow will mostly impact the mountains along and north of I-70. We have the winter weather advisory in effect starting at 9 p.m. Sunday night until Monday at 6 p.m. for cities from Ospin to Eagle and Vale north toward Estes Park. 6 to 12 inches of snow is possible above 10,000 feet. Elsewhere, we're expecting 4 to 8 inches of snow with tough driving conditions. Traffic Keep up to date with the latest conditions the snow level will likely drop to around 5,000 feet Monday morning, so expect wet, snowy and cold commutes on Monday. We will be under a winter storm warning for the Denver Metro along with all cities along the Front Range including Fort Collins, Boulder and Colorado Springs until 3 p.m. Monday. The warning starts at midnight and lasts through Monday afternoon. We could see 4 to 6 inches with some localized areas seeing up to 8 inches of snow. Quite a first snow of the season. A freeze warning is also in effect for the same areas along the front range until Tuesday at 10 a.m. Radar. Track the storm with Denver 7S live radar because it's been so warm. A lot of this snow will melt as soon as it hits the roads. However, driving conditions may be treacherous especially on Monday morning. There is also some concern for trees as most are still very much in leaf. Tree damage will be possible Monday, especially for elevations of 6,000 feet of higher. We've written about how to protect your trees and shrubs, so you won't be caught off guard when the storm hits.